All right. First, I'm going to do a quick run through of the new mod pack version that I have before I share this, so no one watches it or watching this anyway. I have all the same skins as the last pack, so I'm not going to show them off. I'll just I'm just going to show what they are. Mario, we have Shadow Mario, Flying Mario from Super Mario, Gal Super Mario Galaxy 1, uh, Black and White from Super Mario Land 2, uh, an Evo Mario, and Mr. M, Fox, all his voices are is the melee voice, except this one, this is C9, this is the C9 Fox, uh, this one right here does not have a CSP, but this is actually the albino white fox, with, uh, this one has the brawl voice. Uh, wolf, and it has Wolf's voice, classic melee colors fox, and a biker colored fox. Uh, Luigi has his uh, a voice pack based on Luigi's Mansion, and he has new costumes in slots 9 and 10 for the American Luigi, uh, the US Open Golf, and Mr. L. Uh, and Peach, we have Pink Gold Peach, and a, P a Pauline Peach. Bowser has a voice pack based off Super Mario RPG 3, um, a Super Mario and Luigi RPG th uh, 3 Bowser's Inside Story. Uh, we have Dark Bowser from that game, uh, a, a dry Bowser colored because model vertex edits and model imports aren't possible yet, and uh, Meowser from Super Mario 3D Land, uh, 3D World. On Yoshi, we have a white Yoshi over yellow, and then uh, slots 9 and 10, we have a Yub and Orange Yoshi. Both of these, however, uh, do cause uh, a, a glitch that's not been able to been fixed yet. So these are mainly these two are just for fun. And, uh, whenever you sh let go of shield on the stage, it leaves a spark of light, and it doesn't go away. But other than that, it's they're fine. On Rosalina, after her default eight, we have uh, some galaxy colors, just uh, various colors of alts, and then finally, and then we have a Gardevoir color. Bowser Jr. We have seven new Bowser Jr. skins after the Koopalings, just based on you know different variations and colors of of them. Uh, Wario has a voice pack based on Wario Land instead of his Smash voice, much more comical. Uh, his new costumes include this uh, new biker costume, uh, black and uh, orange and black, the Baker Wario from Brawl, a Waluigi Wario. And then the blue and uh, white Wario, also from Brawl. Donkey Kong is the same, just has the two Silhouette Kongs, which I'll move to a new slot next time I update. And the Danky Kang color. Diddy Kong has uh, Trump Diddy on a slot two. And then on slots nine is the Snowhead Diddy, which is based on the colors from Tropical Freeze. And then we have a Conquer the Squirrel Diddy. And then five Ash, Ash like, you know, Pokemon Trader Diddy Kongs. Game & Watch, we have a purple Game & Watch, rainbow Game & Watch, the pink Game & Watch, and uh, orange Game & Watch. I believe those are all the new ones. Uh, Little Mac just has, uh, instead of wire forms, uh, all his wire frames are replaced with eight different costume uh, hoodie colors. On Link, on slots 9 and 10, we have a black tunic Link without being dark Link. And we have the tunic based off the colors from Breath of the Wild. Uh, Zelda on slot four is is uh, Hilda colors, and slot nine we have a Midna color. Sheik on slot one is ice is icy Sheik. Slot ten is uh, Panda Global color Sheik, and slot nine is Aghanim color from Super uh, from Legend of Zelda: Link to the Past. On Ganondorf on slot two we have uh, pink Ganondorf. Slots 3 and 4 are Tron, Red and Blue Ganondorf. Slot 5 is Trumpendorf. And then slot 9 is Phantom Ganon. On Toon Link, we have on slot 5, we have Outside Island Clothes. Slot 6 is the Fierce Deity costume. Slot 9 is a black tunic without being dark. And then slot 10 is Rabio from A Link, from a Link Between Worlds. On Samus, on slot 9, we have the Phazon suit, 
Slot 10 is Iron Man. Slot 11 is Silex. Slot 12 is the EV, I believe the EVA-01 suit. Zero Suit Samus only has this as the new one, just a red, just a red alternate of the skinny of the of the less suit. On pit, we have Phosphor Pit on slot nine. That's all. Palutena, uh, slot one is like the thick Palutena mod, and then slot seven is Dark Palutena. Uh, Marth has a is an English voice pack, and on slot three is one based off A-Frame from Sacred Stones. And then we have some various colors that are uh, either in slots 9 through 12. Like Abstract Marth, Zelda from Hyrule Warriors, a Blue Marth, a Blade Marth, and then uh, Gear Him. And the, these are all Wi-Fi safe. On Ike, we have uh, White Ike, a completely like, a much more white costume, uh, a dark colored Ike for like Guts Ike. And then we have a uh, Snake Ike with a uh, Snake's voice mod and every and a uh, rocket launcher instead of the sword. Uh, Robin just has a couple new ones. Uh, it has the Atharja colored from female male Robin, and then the female Robin with the red and white robes like this one, but with female. On uh, Duck Hunt on slot two we have Courage the Cowardly Dog with a voice pack, and slot nine is a uh, Banjo and Kazooie color. Herbie doesn't have anything right now because. Uh, Currently, you can't add new slots to him without having a glitch. King DDD, uh, we have a Green Lantern color DDD, uh, Clone DDD, and Shadow DDD. On uh, Meta Knight, we have uh, just two alts of a faceless Meta Knight, a maskless Meta Knight, one with the cape and one without the cape. Uh, Falco, we have just this assault colored clothes. Uh, Pikachu has uh, the voice pack from Palkin Tournament for Pikachu Libre. So it's the female Pikachu voice and all our, on all his or her actions. And then the alts that we have on slot 9, we have a Shadow Pikachu, or Dark Pikachu, a Homefront Pikachu, Metal Gear Pikachu, and an Ashichu. Uh, on Charizard, we have on slot 4, we have a Ridley, with a Ridley voice pack and everything. And then on slot 2 is Shiny Charizard. For Lucario on slot 2 is Shiny Lucario. And Mega Lucario in slot nine, and it's not the it's the final Smash version without needing a Smash Ball, but he's not powered up or anything. He just looks like he does in the Smash Four Smash Ball. Uh, Jigglypuff, we have uh, slot two is Shiny Jigglypuff, and then in slot eight is the Hungry Box Puff. Greninja, slot one is Dat Boy, slot four is Shiny Greninja, and slot eight is uh, Ash Ninja. Nothing on Rob because he's impossible. On uh, Ness, slot 17 is CLG Ness, and slots 9 through 16 are all Nin 10 alts. Captain Falcon on slot 2 is a is a black and red black is a black suit Falcon with a red scarf. I don't have a CSP for that one. That's what it is. And then on slot uh, 9 is Nova Falcon. Slot 10 is Captain is a Captain America. Slot 11 is a white suit Falcon with a full face helmet. And then slots 12 through 19 are all like, or Falcons based on beverages like Monster, Red Bull, Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, Risk, Tea, whatever that one is. And that one, and Pepsi. Yeah. You get the point. On Villager, slot 1, we have Sans. On slot 9, we have Sin, which also has the Golden Shovel. All the villager alts have the golden net and the golden slingshot, but only this one has the golden shovel. On slots 10 and 11 are Isabel alts with the summer, fall, spring, and fall clothes. Slot 12 is uh, MLG villager. Slot 13 is the dark skinned panda global villager and the light skinned panda global villager. On Olimar, after we have four new costumes for Louie, and the announcer actually says Louie for the first three. He says ALF on the last one for some reason, but either way. On Wii Fit Trainer, we have eight new colors, starting with a purple, orange, a lighter pur a pink, a gray, a black, and then a dark-skinned Wii Fit Trainer. On Shulk, uh, there's a couple uh, alts, like uh, Slot 2 is uh, actually Master Form, is the Master Form Sora's clothes from Kingdom Hearts 2. Slot three is the black mamba suit with like a black, which is like a black suit with like a black Monado. 
Um, this one is the Melia colored Shulk, with this, but you can tell by the CSP. This one is actually, I believe, the green Gato Shulk, which is actually green, not pink. And then this is the Alva Shulk. On uh, Dr. Mario, we just have uh, a Metal Mario alt with uh, has metal sound effects. His victory theme is changed to Metal Mario's victory theme, and his pills are actually like little ghost balls instead. Nothing on Dark Pit. On uh, Lucina, on slot one is Stick Lucina with uh, just because it's funny. Um, then we have like corn. We have like a corn colored Lucina, uh, and then we have the uh, like uh, the Hoshido Lucina and a Nor Lucina. On Pac-Man, we have seven ghost-colored skins. So he has options to not be only yellow, basically. On Mega Man, slots 8 through 16 are all Proto-Man alts. Slot 17 is like the bad box art Chinese bootleg uh, one. Uh, this is Bass. And this is uh, Bomberman colors. On Sonic, on slot 8 is Mephilis. On slots 8, 9 through 16 are all Shadow Skins with uh, Shadow's voice pack. Slot 17 is a Litten colored Sonic, and slot 18 is Super Sonic. On Mewtwo, slot 2 is Shiny Mewtwo, slot 8 is Shadow Mewtwo, and slot 7 is an alternate Shadow Mewtwo. From Pokken. On Lucas, we just have that pink hair with the uh, different alt. I didn't really do much with Lucas. On Roy, we have Awakening Roy, Isaac Roy, and uh, a Leaf Roy. And I think Slot 8 is actually like a glitch, it's like a glitched, really weird looking one, but it's like he's glowing in red because of like the air in the game, but it, it was actually so interesting I decided to leave it. On Ryu, Slot, this Ryu right here, the blue, this one right here is actually Ken's clothes, I believe. Yeah, slot 6, it actually is Ken's clothes, and it has a Ken voice pack. And then we have for, then we just have some alternate Ryu colors after that in extra slots. On Cloud, uh, like the default Cloud is like a pink Cloud. And then like the backwards 4 have like different colors, like these are actually new slots right here, even though they have the same CSPs. Like there's a Sephiroth Cloud, a Zack Cloud, uh, a Dante Cloud. And a Nova Cloud, you just have to, and an Ice Blade Cloud, but you have to find them because they don't have CSPs yet. Next update, I'm going to fix that. But the only one that really matters for Cloud is the Mewtwo King Cloud. On Corrin, uh, he has a voice pack for the male Corrin to make it based on actually in-game footage from Fire Emblem Fates, so he is not as annoying. And then other than that, we have new slots for colors based off Shigure, Azura, Xander, Camilla, Ryoma and Hanoka. And then for Bayonetta, we, uh, this one right here is actually a Jean, Jean alt, but that's it. And then the final thing in the mod is, actually there's two things I need to show really quick. Uh, the stage selection cursor, as you can see, is the Triforce. The music selector is a uh, is an ocarina, and the Omega selector is a is a uh, Majora's Mask. Online, these two work, but the Triforce symbol does not appear online. It's just a check mark. I don't know why that is. And then finally, uh, there's nothing new on stages, but the music on the stages are have changed. I have not replaced any songs, I have added new songs to every single stage. Because as you can see in the top right, it says there's 40 songs. Because I've added all these new songs into their own slots and they all play correctly. And they'll all show up in-game correctly too. But no matter how many times you turn them on, it likes to turn some of the songs off, so...
just to show you that it'll actually show it's gonna pick one of the new songs and you'll be able to see end game. See it says right there Fragments of Sorrow, it shows the new song. And so it's not just a replacement, it's like literally like the song is legitimately the song is legitimately in the game. And then if you ever get mad or whatever, the text in game is changed to this. And there's actually one final change I forgot to show. And all the other stages, that all the legal stages, as you can see, have extra songs on them now, like this. It likes to turn, it likes to, every time you turn on the system, you have to turn the songs back on, though, if you have more the extra songs like this, because it, the game can only save a certain number of, of songs left on at a time. So you have to reset your sound settings a couple times. But uh, every single legal stage has a, all these extra songs on them. Some of, ha some of them have a couple variations, but most of them have all the same ones, but that way... You can just choose a, a selection that fits you for which ones you want to leave on and which ones you don't for which stage. Because meanwhile, while you can still customize the songs yourself, you can only download the songs from Smash Custom Music to replace these default songs. So I left these here so you can you can replace those with anything, whereas the ones I did are actually legitimately in the game themselves. So it's, you know, every, everybody wins. Every single other stage, I, I only added one song too, just so for four glory purposes. This one I didn't add anything to, because uh, it already had a good song on it, but like every other stage, I just added one song to it. I like Lilat has 40 songs, uh, Battlefield did that one, um, Town and City has 40, Smashville has 40, Duck Hunt has 40, and whoops, and Dreamland also has 40, but I messed up. But the main thing I wanted to show is the cloud is the cloud mod. As you can see, Cloud's limit text bar is now now says salt, which is really accurate comparing to what the community a lot of times people seem to think about cloud right now. So yeah, that was just too good to pass up. So yeah, have fun with that one. And I can tell you again, everything you see in this pack will be continuously updated on. Anything, any slots that are, have costumes that are replacement slots will be moved to their own own slot in time. More characters will get custom nameplates, and the, and I'm also going to get the nameplates to show up in game as well. Everything is Wi-Fi safe, and just to go into my music to show uh, the menu music, I also added new songs to like a couple of these. So, that's that. And then, uh, just to show a nice little trick, that w and I also added all the songs for listening purposes, if anyone likes to do that still, in the vault, in the sounds. And the way it works is, uh, you had to add a lot of blank slots in order to keep it organized. I skipped over a lot of sound slots, so down here near the bottom, you're going to see a lot of blank These don't do anything. They're, they're not glitched or anything. They just... They just don't do anything. That's just... I had to... Because the way the sounds work is the songs are all, like, not... Uh, they're not... They actually skipped over some numbers in the game. So whenever I wanted to add a slot, it had to fill in those slots first. And I didn't want to... And I wanted to keep all the songs that I added new at the very bottom of the list to keep it organized. So I had to have a lot of blank slots. But either way, you get down here, and then you're able to listen to all the songs in the tracks. And um, and for the ones that had credits, like all the Kingdom Hearts songs were composed by Yoko Shinomura. So I was able to give him credit in the game as well, for all the songs. If if the if they had it, like this one was, and this was a remix that was arranged by Sapphire, so I put gave him the credit for arranging it. Um, like an, and another one like down here was the uh, Theophany, uh, Mogera battle. 
This one had a lot of credits, so I made sure I gave them all the credit for it too. But you're able to listen to all the songs here without any problems. And then in future updates, I, I, can, I probably can put other songs in and stuff like that as well. But either way, that's all for this mod pack. Download link will be in the description of the video and also available on my stream at just use the I that uh, exclamation point mods command in the stream. You'll be able to get the uh, download link sent to you. I mean, it'll, Nightbot will post a link. Otherwise, the video the link will also be in the description of the video. So it and just stay tuned for future updates. I'll make a video about each one. So uh, thank you for watching. And I'm going to reset this, and I need to reset the stream now.